welcome back to the interview question series i hope you are enjoying it so today we have another question actually this question was asked by multiple people so i could not call out with one single name who asked that question so we are seeing question number 3 and the question is about how do you handle scenarios where bugs are reported from production environments but they are not reproducible in lower environments when i say environments it's the environment where you test your code so there is a difference between production environment and lower environment lower environment is a you know qa environment or any environment which people give you to test it before going into production it could be uat environment right so these can be part of the lower until you push the code to production the moment your code goes live and can be used by the production users if any issue comes over there then we call it as a production environment okay so here issue is a uh, clients who are using your application in the production have seen the issue but when you try to do it in your lower environments where you signed off your application there you are not seeing the issue so how do you handle this whole situation right this is also one of the real time question where if you have a real time genuine of 5 plus years experience then you will surely encounter this kind of situation and here where interviewer will try to see how smart you are and how leadership skill you have to handle the situation or your is your experience real or fake that is something we'll get to know with the way you answer these questions all right so the very simple guys if that is the you know situation first thing is what usually people do in the projects is schedule a meeting with a client so we directly connect to the client and in the meeting there will be your product owner and any release manager as well as a qas also can be there when you connect with a client so to reproduce the issue directly on their system we will share the screen with them and they will or they will show us the screen and explain what issue they were seeing okay if you are not clear in our side we can directly connect to them and they will reproduce in their system okay so once they reproduce in their system you know matter is still not over because that issue you are not seeing in your lower environments right even if they show it uh, probably if it is simple silly issue obvious issue if they are making you can tell them in a call hey this is not how you should do it this we are not supporting this kind of pattern and you should do with this flow something you will right away tell there if client is doing something in wrong way but if let's say client is doing in everything as per the standard and you will directly watch it how they are doing and you know once it reproduced what you do is you will document that reproduction steps exactly on how client is doing probably he is or she is doing in an another way which you are not able to do that in your lower environment right so you exactly document that reprodu- reproduction steps what they were doing and what environment the client is in like what operating system they have and uh, what browser they are using and you know if and if they get any error message then what kind of error message they are seeing um, all the details you will document it that is first thing what qa has to do right when they are in the part of that meeting because at the end you are the one who need to figure out what is the issue and then developer will fix it okay but issue figuring out you and your business analyst or your product owner has to sit together and figure out and give the detailed information to your dev right so once you get that information you can get extra information like application logs server logs let's say they have seen this error message at the monday morning 10 am when you all are directly connected through zoom or something right then you go back after call is done you open the server logs application logs and see what happened at monday 10:30 am or 10 am right you pick up all the error messages what you see in the logs right you should also add those details in your document the complete reproduction steps the error what we seeing in the back end for those application and server 
so with that all information you need to submit to your developer explaining the problem okay that is the main thing so while uh, searching the application logs or server logs you can also involve developer to analyze the logs so what i could say is prepare full documentation and submit to the developer and they will analyze the logs and collected information given by QAs and the business analyst and pinpoint the root cause and they'll fix it. Okay. But it's your duty to give the root cause. So this is how you need to tell when somebody asks, issue is in client system, but not reproducible in your system. How do you say it? Then people will start telling uh, that I will repeat a new browser. I will repeat in incognito. I will see if test data is correct. I will see if internet connection is correct. Those are all bullshit answers, right? So a real experienced guy should talk in this way. How you start, how you gather, how you set up meeting, what are the documentation logs you collect and how do you uh, get all those logs and how do you reach out to the developer? There should be systematic, you know, way to answer. Let's say no matter all this you do, if you still see issue, okay? So that means you are not able to pinpoint the root cause after doing all this, even you and a developer could not able to understand why it is happening only in the client system, but everything looks good from our side. So in that case, a simple dump rule is you take database mirroring. So that means what kind of production database your client is using simply mirror the database. That means take the exact replica of database and deploy in your lower environment. So where you are usually testing, it could be QA environment or UAT environment, right? So wherever you test, get that exact database because lower environments database and production environment database will be different. I mean, tables are same, but the content inside the tables will be different, right? In lower environments, we use dummy data, but in production environments, they use real data. So here, if you are not able to figure out, then you have to take that client real data. That's okay because we obviously we will know their data. However, when we are handling the technical side of the project, so you can mirror their data, probably something there could be with the data, what they have in the database could be creating issue. Maybe the data fault or something, right? For us to understand why it is happening only to that specific client, we have to mirror their complete database details and have it deploy in your local and also uh, mirror the environment they are using. So exact operating system, exact browser, exact DB. So same environment replication you do in your lower environments and you test it. So here obviously you will see the same issue. So in the step, step one and two, what we are doing is instead of touching the a client database or a client operating system, we are smartly trying to figure out the issue from the logs, application, server logs, right? But if we are not getting any clue, then we can, you know, mirror that whole environment, including database, browser, operating system in your lower environment. And then you attempt to replicate that and solve it. Okay. So this is the uh, backup step. So usually people start with, you know, first or second step, but if it fails, then you take the backup. So these are the different things you do when there is a bug in the client system, but not in your system. Okay. Uh, you should not go with the dumb answers like trying other browser, checking internet connection or etc. <laughs> Try this and I'm sure that uh, that will really impress the recruiters. All right. So that's all guys. I hope it is clear. And in the next lecture, we will see another great interview question asked by the people. Okay. See you until then. Thank you.